See it right there? Department of Veteran Affairs, U.S. Veteran, Alpha Battery, 4320, Field Artillery, 4th Brigade Combat Team, 101st Airborne Division. That's my uniform you're disrespecting. This delusion in our heads is gonna bring us to our knees. All right, folks, we are talking about stolen valor here at the Bullish Money YouTube channel. This has become such a phenomenon that uh, everybody's talking about a military civilian. It's just, um, it's just blowing up. I'll just get into, I'll just uh, show you this clip. The improper way to be wearing a uniform. Got your beret on with the flash, no unit crest, no nothing on it. Your French Fortisades all jacked up. Uh, first, first of all, I I understand that this veteran is um, uh, is pissed off, and I again totally understandable. But look at what you're doing. Uh, this guy, I mean, he's clearly an old guy. Maybe he he's gone senile. You know, he, he this is the one thing I don't like about these stolen valor vigilantes is that they're just going after anybody that's wearing camo or wearing a, a uniform uh, that they probably picked up from the Salvation Army, okay, and or just found in some dumpster somewhere. I don't know. I mean, I don't know where um, he this gentleman this elderly gentleman got his uh, his uniform but he got it from somewhere uh, he, certainly he didn't go to the barracks or uh, break into a military installation to uh to steal this uniform and i'm almost certain about that okay there are certain things there's just some things you have to let slide you know i'm not going to go after somebody who is mentally ill or mentally retarded for uh, wearing a uh, inappropriate attire. It's just, you know, um, and, and plus, this is the other thing too. Well, we'll we'll uh, get get into it later. Oh. Just play the rest you of this video. All right, right. Only take of or the rest of this clip. I'm not taking pictures. I'm taking a video. This is going on stolen valor. <laughs> this is going on stolen valor. Federal crime, right? Federal crime. Yeah, it's a federal crime. That's exactly, actually, that's a good segue because that's exactly what I was going to talk to you, uh, mention. Uh, my point is that it's not a crime. It's not a federal crime. It's not a state crime. It's not a, it's not a local crime. It's nothing. It's nothing. This guy is just wearing a uniform, a military uniform, but he is not presenting himself as uh, being in the military. He had this, um, Nowhere in, in this clip does uh, does he say that um, he's uh, military. I don't think. Um, and even if he did, even if he said he's military, um, and 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 tried to uh, you know pass him himself off to this person taking the video as military, it's one of those things that the DA's office would say. Ah, you know, the, I mean, they have so many other. So many other things to worry about rather than some old guy, some possibly senile person wearing a military uniform. This is not going to be enforced. It's just there's so many other bigger problems to worry about than this crap. It is. But I ain't doing this for, uh, to prove that I'm in the Army. So. What are you doing it for? You got a VA card? Man, get me video. Hold on, check it out. I want to see if you got one of these. See it right there? Oh, boy. Um, I mean, why? what does it matter? What does it matter? What point are you trying to prove? So this old guy is wearing uh, a military uniform. Maybe he just... I don't know. He he just feels bad about what he did in his life, and he wishes he could be young again, or that he wants to uh, uh, just feel special for or for a day uh, or two, a, a, a respite from his uh, sorry life. Okay, I I don't know, but it's just a bad look. I mean, who 
I mean, if I don't know what you're trying to prove. I mean, so what if this guy lies about his uh, uh, military service? There's a lot of people that lie. Are we going to go to every single person and say, you lied about something, so we're going to uh, prosecute you? Again, you just got to let some stuff go, man. You got to, like, this is, this, you, you pick your battles. You know, this is not one of those battles to pick. Department of Veteran Affairs, U.S. Veteran, Alpha okay. Battery, 4320, Field Artillery, 4th Brigade Combat field Team, artillery. Okay. 101st Airborne Great. Division. Awesome. Thank you for your service. But seriously, what kind of image are, are you projecting here? That, I mean, look at the optics. Yeah, you think you might make yourself feel better, right? You may make yourself feel better by picking on an elderly gentleman. But you know what? This guy also has a certain social status because he is an elder. Uh, this is uh, universal. Is that you just don't go after your elders. You give your elders a certain level of respect. And even if the elder person is going out of bounds, you know what? They have many decades on you. So they deserve to go out of bounds. You let them go out of bounds. Okay, You don't go accosting every elderly person for perceived crimes or for just nitty nitpicky stuff. You know, you don't go after them. It's just, this is not what the army represents. This is not what the military services represent. You want to go after stolen valor, go after legitimate stolen valor. Go after the guys who are pretending to be in the military and who are who are profiting off of that fraud, off of that stolen identity, the stolen valor. Right? There's many people who, who pretend to be Navy SEALs and start up a defense company or, or some kind of um, other business related to the either self-defense or, or to the military and, and make millions of dollars off of this fraud. That's the type of stolen valor that uh, people should be concerned about or people who put military credentials or, or experience on their resume to get a leg up on the competition, uh, on, on the job seekers that are doing it the correct way. Those are the people that you should shame. Some old senile person minding his own business, wearing a military uniform and shopping at Vons or Kroger's or whatever the case is. That's not stolen valor, okay? That's just, no, that's nothing. And I'll tell you it's nothing because the DA's office will say it's nothing. The DA office, you know, the, they want to hear about real crimes, uh, crimes that cause real harm. This is not about any of that. It's not about protecting honor. It's not about protecting valor. Let's be honest. You want to be a YouTube star. You want to be a YouTube star at the expense of somebody else. And that part of it, I just don't think it's cool because we're seeing too many times people selling out their military credentials to become celebrities. I don't know how many books there are about the Navy SEALs, how many movies there are about the Navy SEALs. I mean, it's like the Navy SEALs in particular has just become this, this celebrity entity, just like the stolen valor thing. It's just, it's become ridiculous. And I know that I, I hate it as much as anybody else when people pretend to be Navy SEALs to uh, curry favor or, or to gain uh, social status or to uh, cut in front of the line in terms of a job application or to, to gain uh, money fraudulently. fraudulently. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Hate that. Okay. But people just wearing camo or just wearing a military uniform because, by the way, that uniform most likely was sold by the United States government to a retailer, a Army-Navy surplus store. Because if you go to any Army-Navy surplus store, if you, especially a big one, you can see entire racks of this stuff. And they have racks upon racks. And in fact, they have so many of these used military uniforms that, that oftentimes many... Uh, surplus stores will have a special section for it and they just dump all the uniforms there. It's not even sorted by size or anything like that. It's just dumped. 
There's, uh, I know one particular uh, Army Navy surplus store that there's a basement, and inside that basement, they just have a big giant box of uniforms, and they just pile it in there. You want to talk about disrespect? How about the United States government, Uncle Sam, who he, who's selling this stuff so that Army Navy surplus store owners can just dump it in a basement somewhere? That should be construed as as not, not stolen valor, but that should be dishonoring the uniform. But no, the the stolen valor vigilantes, they don't go after Army Navy surplus stores. They don't do that. <laughs> I mean, that's the root. That's one of the roots of stolen valor. They don't go after the, the uh, Army Navy surplus store. They go after the people who buy <laughs> the products from the army navy surplus store it's all downstream this is this is the thing that's so frustrating about this the stolen valor uh situation it's downstream okay the downstream this it, it, this is an individual downstream event uh of an old senile guy wearing a military uniform and you're just blasting him because he's just old he's just senile he's just wearing this uniform because he wants to okay i mean people do this stuff i mean if you want to I mean, if you're going to yell at this guy, then go yell at Civil War reenactors or Revolutionary War reenactors for stolen valor. It's like, you're not George Washington. Stolen valor. Stolen valor.